So this is the inside of my K40 Chinese laser. And I have a platform in here. This is my solution to um, how to focus uh, or how to get the parts into focus. So I have a, a spring-loaded platform. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna cut this thing, I'll just bring it in, put it under the lip. And the way I have this set up, and and if I only catch one, if the piece is so small that I only catch one lip, I can come in with a second piece of scrap on the other side um, of the same thickness to get to get it all the same height. But what I did is I set up I set this fixture up so that the bottom edge of this piece of angle aluminum is at the focus point. So when the spring-loaded platform pushes it up to that edge, this surface is in focus. If I do the same thing with a larger piece of material, and again, that's not going to catch both sides. Put a piece of scrap on this side, that's the same thickness. Now, once again, the surface is, is in focus. The other thing that I did is because I now I have this set up, I started cutting my material so it's just slightly larger than the than the fixture, the two pieces of angle aluminum. So I push it in one side, push it in the other, and that that way I don't need to have that extra piece of scrap. I can design my my cuts to be out of this piece of material. It makes it really simple. If I want to do something really quick, I just have it there. It's ready to go. <clears throat> All right, and, and there's a little bit more we can do here with this. I've, I've taken out the expanded metal, um, and now I just have two plain metal rods that are about the same length as my expanded metal sheet was. So I can slip these rods in here. Where I need them to be. And now essentially, I have a platform that is as wide or as narrow as I need it to be for any particular piece of material that I'm cutting. And again, I take a piece of scrap and put it on the other side. Um, and I'll be able to hold it, hold it, uh, and, and, that, and that'll eliminate any backburn or, or actually more than backburn what I see from the expanded metal as I get the some black goo that comes out of this material. Um, and sometimes there's a little bit of a if you look, if you see right here, I don't know if you can see it on the on the camera, but there's a it pulls up a little bit from the from the material. A lot of times, what I can do is if, if the material pulls up like that, I'll either um, take a take a magnet on the expanded metal, or or you can take a clamp and clamp it down just on that very edge um, to keep it to keep it under control. Or if you just adjust a little bit, sometimes it'll it'll come back down. But but using that 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 technique you can you can have very small supports for for a piece of material and it'll get it to uh, get it very good the other thing um, like i was showing before i had the, the material that was cut just to be the right size for the for the for the setup here um if i use that material I don't need any supports at all underneath. I'm just now I'm just supporting the very edge, and I'm actually only grabbing maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch on either side, and that that gives me a really clean um, backside. Um, so now everything everything will fall out when I start cutting on that. Um, so that's that kind of summarizes what you can do with this this particular type of setup. So here are all the parts. We have the bottom, the springs, and the the. 1024 fasteners that go in the middle. Uh, the bar or the plate, or I guess it's a bar that pushes up on the on the expanded metal or whatever else you want to put in there, and then the top angle and the, the two 3D printed parts that are already screwed on there. <clears throat> we have the straw. I'm actually going to make a couple of new pieces of straw here because the uh, old ones were. getting a little chewed up. Take, take the piece of straw. Put this
and here we can see that goes together and, and one thing to note is those those fastener heads will go right through um, that top bar there's clearance there so what we can do is bring those down where we need them to be That's how that'll sit, and I'm and I'm not going to put. I'm going to leave this as two different parts until we until I bring it over into the K40 and, and install it. The one last thing that I have in here is I have these these spacers. I'm I'm going to put in spacers on the between the between this bottom the bar that go, attaches to the to the rails and the rails, and that's going to give me a little bit more travel. Um, and to accommodate those, I've, I've made these 3D printed parts a little bit longer to, to make sure that the focus point is still on the on the bottom of that plate. I'm going to show assembly of the brackets into the K40 at about six times speed. As you can see, I put the brackets in there, put the spacer on top of the bracket, and then put a fastener through both of those and into the rails. Previously, I pulled my rails out of my K40 drilled some holes in the bottom of the rails and tapped those holes so these screws are are being screwed directly into the rails. Alternately you could make the brackets longer so they extend past the rails on the outside and put in some sort of clamping mechanism that would hold them in place.